Welcome everyone. Uh, this is step number five for the Langchain.js Rack application. In the previous step, we went through uh, the process of loading a PDF. In this step, we're going to be splitting the content of the uh, of the PDF into multiple chunks, smaller chunks that will be uh, more easily uh, digested and used by the LLM. So this is step number five. Let me open this up. Um, so we have some new um, NPM packages here. We have the character text splitter. So make sure to run NPM install. Uh, and then before running the code, let me go through this, uh, this uh, file and see what changed. So basically we added two more parameters, chunk size and chunk overlap. I will go through this uh, in detail in, in, in a bit. So we have two parameters that are passed to the constructor through the initializer. So when we initialize the class now, we pass these two extra arguments. Uh, they end up here and then we store them into class properties, chunk size and chunk overlap. overlap. Uh, we add uh, one more step, one more asynchronous step in our initialize, initializer function. So after we have loaded the documents, we are uh, going to wait for the split documents to split these uh, PDF documents into smaller chunks. So we're just adding one more step, which is going to split the documents from the PDF into small chunks. Uh, the init channel model is something that we saw. Uh, the load document is already loading the PDF. We saw that in the previous step. Now here is the, the method that was added in this step. So we initialize a, a text splitter by Langchain, which is called character text splitter. And basically this um, splits the text into smaller chunks based on the chunk size. So this is the number of characters that we want to um, uh, to use and, and split the text that is, let's say, 1,000 characters into chunks of 100 characters or 50 characters or 500 characters and so forth. Uh, this is the overlap. So when we chunk, when we split document into different chunks, there might be, we might want to have some overlap. So some uh, some characters are contained both in the uh, in the first chunk and in the second chunk. Uh, I will show you a demo, a visual demo in a bit. So these are the two uh, uh, properties that we can uh, we need to define here. Uh, there's a separator for separating um, based on the space. So we create this character text splitter that is going to um, uh, get executed here and we're going to be passing our PDF document. So uh, in the previous step, we loaded the PDF. That PDF um, was split into 10 or nine, sorry, nine documents. There were 10 pages on the PDF, one of them contained an image, so it was skipped. So we ended up with nine documents for the nine pages of the PDF. In this process, we're passing these nine documents into the character text splitter, and we're going to get uh, text um, and store it in a, in a property here, which is going to contain smaller chunks of these documents. So one document will be split into three, four or more uh, smaller text chunks. Why? Because uh, the LLMs work better with small chunks of text and some of them have a limit, so we cannot really pass hundreds or uh, thousands or, or um, you know, um, tens of thousands of, of, of characters. So we need to split this so we can work with smaller chunks. Um, so this is what the split document is doing grabbing the documents and splitting them in smaller chunks. And uh, let, let's run the code to see what's what's happening here. We see that the documents, the nine documents that uh, we have uh, from the previous step were uh, further split into 14 documents. So we now have uh, uh, smaller chunks. Let's see what we get back from this from this step, you will see that we have very, very small chunks around 1000 uh, characters. So you can see that if I go to the start, we have uh, 
This is the first chunk. Uh, you can see that Langchain also creates a document object, a special document object for these chunks as well, uh, which basically is an object with page content and metadata. So this is like the first chunk. This is the second chunk and the third one and so forth. Uh, there's a smart, smart splitting that is done um, based on the separator and we end up with 14 chunks of text um, that we will be using in the next step. So that's what this, uh, this further splitting of the document into chunks is, is doing. This is what we're uh, doing this step. In order to understand how this uh, splitter works, you can go on this link. And basically what this character text splitter does is we have a document. So this is, let's say, a document. We use the character text splitter and this splits this document into small chunks. So I will make this like 400 characters, roughly. And you will see that this document is split into one, two, three, four, five, and so forth chunks based on the on the chunk size. And the overlap is about the content that is contained both in the uh, in one chunk and in the next one. So now the chunk overlap is zero. So all these chunks do not overlap with each other. But if I change this with like 20 characters, you will see that these 20 characters are all, all uh, are both part of the first chunk and the second part. This is part of the second uh, chunk and the third one and so forth. So if you want some of these um, chunks to be overlapping for some reason, you will be uh, like configuring this uh, this chunk overlap. In our case, we have set this to 1000 and the overlap to zero and we get this rather large chunks of text with no overlap. Um, in the next step, we will see some more advanced splitting uh, algorithms like the recursive character text splitter, but I will keep this for an another video. Um, this is step number five. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments and questions below. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. So, thank you for watching.